Good morning friends. It's been a while since I have taken a video. Today I don't want to miss this opportunity because the apple bear season is coming to an end and I hope I want to show all the fruits on my tree. Earlier I had few questions on how did I raise this on my terrace and the way we can do it. So today in today video I'll be covering that. I see an advantage of building this raised beds on the terrace. If you can see this is the height I have used. So and this is the length. I made use of the space between the pillars on my terrace and uh, I covered the gap between the pillar to pillar with two walls of 6 inches each. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's not 6 inches, it's uh, 3, 3 inches each. And in between these two walls, raised beds, I uh, I poured all the soil, okay? So, this is how uh, I utilized the space between two pillars. This way I did on all the four sides. If you have seen my earlier videos, <coughs> you'll understand on... Uh, what what did I do in the raised bed? Now today, since we are specifically talking about um, apple bear, so I planted. Uh, I took a plant from nursery, which is grafted. So the grafted ha plant has an advantage because <clears throat> they will sell us three to four years old plant, and uh, they graft a branch from an old tree. That's the reason you see that uh, within the first year of your planting, even within six months, sometimes. For this plant, I saw within the next month itself. So um, there were the, the fruit starts coming, and uh, you will enjoy the fruit. So always prefer buying grafted plants from nursery uh, if it's a, a terrace garden. That will be easy and simple. And now you can see here in the bed in the middle, I use this. And the advantage of raised beds between the pillars is that the roots can spread across this wide okay so multiple fruit trees you can plant in this raised bed a single space here if you see I have planted fig custard apple papaya apple bear coranda and uh, ivy got so this many I planted in one raised bed and see the stem how thick it has become so uh, it's same like growing on the ground i i saw this and what i did was um, what i actually do is every time when the fruits are done i trim the plant and last time i trimmed it over here we cut it to almost leaving behind only one stem and uh, once the season starts the stems grow this wider see how big the plant has become I'll cover all entire area. See this big the plant has become. Imagine this is on the terrace, not on the ground. And still you can see the plant as big as that planted on the ground. And every branch is loaded with fruits. See, everywhere. these are small ones and you can see some ripe ones here are some more see how many the branches loaded big big fruits everywhere and i already harvested so many out of it now the season is ending and slowly i see that uh, the fruits are coming down few uh, few fruits are turning this way maybe they'll drop off and also the birds are eating them so this is one more good thing that when we grow things or when we grow trees not only us even the nature the birds everybody will have its own meal see how top it went okay And when it 
eating this color that is light green i saw that it is tasting very well if it is dark green like this we have to wait for some more time these are all little green more and i have to wait until it turns to light green and this is the other side view again this is ready to harvest it's light green one more fruit i'll show you which is ready to harvest here it is i hope you are able to see it's behind the leaves and this branch is loaded with fruits see completely how high it has grown and i plucked so many i harvested so many fruits from this i gave it to my relatives who recently visited us so this is how it looks so beautiful so only thing every plant i am even plucking this this is ready again one more this is also ready see light green the taste so sweet you know very tasty and full organic so imagine <laughs> So this is how my tree is in this raised bed, and this is how it is serving our family. I'm really loving this, and I enjoy all my fruits. I encourage each one of you to make use of the small space you had or the big space, whatever it is. Don't um, hesitate. Just the plant needs a small space with mud in it. That's it. The dirt, and it gives us. beautiful flowers fruits and what not and the happiness you gain out of seeing these greenery it's a stress buster i can say go ahead and do your job thanks for watching if you feel this video is interesting and useful please do share with your friends thank you